Hello and welcome to the series Rise of the Pie Woman. In this fifth vlog today, we will make tableau funnel chart. It will be a funnel chart based on a life cycle of a data science project. I'm Manya and my mission is helping decision makers gain more profit with machine learning insights. In order to get uh, this data set that we are uh, working with today and also a Tableau dashboard, you have to subscribe to my email list and I will send you a link for downloading. So how data science lifecycle looks, so we will learn how it looks like and what part of the percentage is covering every part of uh, data science lifecycle looks. So let's go and make our visualization. So now we will open to blue and now we will connect our data set. So, okay, data set project cycle one. Okay, so we then go to the to this to this uh, orange button sheet one. So we will we will change here and say life cycle of a data science data science project okay so in order to make our uh, funnel uh, we have to make a couple of uh, calculated fields so let's go and create calculate field so the first stop or first step in data science project is of course identify 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 problem so it's the first step so identify the problem so we will say if attribution so cycle equals identify identify problem okay uh, then or look up so for again attribution um, so again cycle cycle then uh, comma minus one because we don't want to include the last one and then we go okay so we don't equals again identify problem identify problem okay and then we have like then some value and end that's it so this is our calculated field in order to do that we have to make every step of, of the cycle so we'll have six so let's go and duplicate and it's the same method so i will go and do this so uh so here i will change this so the second step in uh, life cycle uh, life cycle of uh, data science project is like prepare prepare data so we will change here and say and say prepare data okay so prepare data and then apply so it's the same just we are changing the name of the calculated field and also like changing in the function so let's go and edit this one. So this, the third step is, of course, analyze that data. So analyze data. So we'll change here. Analyze data. And here, analyze data. So apply. Okay. So the next step, again, duplicate and then edit. So we'll go here. And so our next step, fourth step, is of course what we are doing now. So we are visualizing, so visualize data. So we will change here and say, okay, so we'll change, say, visualize, visualize data. And of course, here, so, okay, visualize data, apply, okay. And we have two more steps. So, so the, the fifth step is, of course, present insights. 
So we have you have to present insights to your client or your manager. Present insights. Okay. And also here change it. Present insights. Apply. Okay. And the last but not the least, for me, I think it's 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 the most important one because why are we doing these steps be below? So the, the key reason why are we doing data science and analyzing and everything and why we're using science for businesses is, of course, gain profit. So this, for me, this last step is most important because, because this is why you're doing while you're doing data analysis, actually, so let's change it, gain profit, okay, so apply, okay, so we finished this boring stuff, so this is the only boring stuff in this uh, tutorial, so let's go and um, drag and drop measure value, so this way we'll got uh, immediately all of this uh, calculated fields on the dashboard. So let's go and uh, drag and drop measure values. So look here. Okay, so the next step. So click here, entire view. Also, we don't need like a number of records and also we don't need value for now. So the next step, what we will do, so we will go and drag and drop cycle here on the rows. So you can see we now got a bar chart. So the next step in order to get our funnel, we need to change every of these calculated fields. So compute using table down again. So compute using table down and it's the same for every every of these calculated fields. So compute using table down and again the last one compute using table down. So the next step is we will change it to area chart. So you can see that this table isn't like connected. So we have uh, like blank spaces. In order to have a connected uh, table, one table, we need to go under analysis and we need to uh, uncheck this stack mark. So make it off. Now you can see this table is, uh, is like uh, one table. The next step that we are doing, so we will go and uh, add cycle here. So we will drag and drop cycle here on the color. So you can see that we are now changing the color. Now we we want because this 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 doesn't look like a funnel. So we need uh, to uh, change the 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 re rearrange this uh, this uh, fields. So we know that first is actually identify identify the problem so let's go identify the problem the second one is prepare data so the third one is analyze data okay so then we have visualize data and we have present insights and then we have gain profit so this is our uh, our funnel in order to get a real one funnel the next step what we need to do is we will uh, double this so we will double this so now we have two so now we have left and right side of our funnel in order to get our uh, funnel together we need to go here so if you see so click here on your left left uh, button on your mouse so edit axis and then we will will see reverse so scale reversed then we will exit and now you can see that we now have our our funnel in order to have it a little bit better we don't need header here and we don't have and don't we don't have need header here so okay so i also want to like i also want our co colors to be uh, a little bit stronger so i will go here and uh, grow our opacity to 100 percent the next step that i will do i don't want these columns and dividers so i don't want them so i will go uh, on the format so also the left click format and then i will lose lose of this uh, divider so here column divider so none 
then also like here grand total so we don't need that also for the header then for the rows we also don't need it uh, also for the header and also for row divider we don't also don't need it because we want it simple yeah and also for the sheet we don't need it also okay so i think that's I put it all of none, just look at it once again, okay, and also here none and here none and also reef lines, drop lines, okay, so this this looks like really nice. Then the next step that we are doing, so we know that we have departments, so we have data scientists and we have developers, so we need to uh, see uh, in the project how many how many which part of uh, are done by data science and which part is done by developers so we will now go and drag and drop departments on, in, onto the filter so here on the filter so also click all we want all of them then apply also we want to show show a filter so show filter and then choose only data science now we will go here and choose a single value okay this look nice and the next the next action is we want also this background to be a little bit better so we'll go in, in the format and also like shading and in the worksheet we will choose maybe this color so this looks pretty much nicer and then the last part like we also want to see the percentage and the name of this part of this funnel so we will go we will go here so on the measure value uh, one because we want to show uh, show the names of this cycle and uh, and the percentage uh, on the left side so we will uh, drag and drop cycle on the uh, on the label you can see now here so we'll go now on the label and we want to change the element so it'll be the left one and the vertical it will be down and also we want a bold so okay and then maybe 10 this looks better and then the next step we want also to see the numbers so how many so the percentage of every of this parts of the life cycle so we will drag and drop value again on the label and then we don't want like this we want the percentage so we will go here on the sum value so we will go okay quick table calculation so we want percent of total and then the next step uh, we will go and format so format this click here on the format and then we want to change the number so we don't want numbers we want percentage so we will say okay percentage and decimal places we don't need two so we need only one that's it and it looks really really nice so this is how it looks our funnel and now you can see uh, how it looks when we when we talk about when we talk about uh, um, like entire part of of, of uh, the life cycle so let's go and see on on, on the on the uh, entire view because there on the smaller part we can we cannot see this most important one it's which is gain profit so you can see now how it looks uh, really nice and that's it for uh, for today uh, also like uh, tomorrow we will have uh, two tutorials yeah you you heard it really uh, really good so tomorrow we will explain every of this uh, parts of the life cycle of data science project and also we will learn how to use matplotlib until tomorrow uh, thank you for your uh, part in my data science journey Share this with someone from data science field. Until tomorrow, happy visiting. Bye.